everyone, we just drove uh, four hours from Nairobi. We're in central Kenya at Old Pajeta Conservancy. Old Pajeta is 90,000 acres of open savanna grassland and in my opinion has the richest diversity of wildlife in Kenya. It is situated on the equator west of Nanyuki between the foothills of Mount Kenya. Good morning, everybody. We are here uh, at the home of Fatu and Najin. They are the last two remaining northern white rhinos in the world. I wanted to show you guys the morning routine. Uh, I'm here with Zach and Anthony, and uh, we're going to go through uh, feeding them, walking them around, and what they do in the morning when they wake up. So this is going to be really cool and special, so I hope you enjoy it. On a beautiful morning in February, I was honored to spend time with Najin and Fatu, the last two northern white rhinos in the world. When I first saw them starting their breakfast routine with the sun rising above Mount Kenya, it was hard to believe we still live in a world where poaching has brought us to extinction of wildlife. White rhinos are the second largest land mammals, second only to elephants. They can grow to be 6,000 pounds with a curved front horn up to five feet long. How much do they eat? Wow. The northern white rhino formerly ranged over parts of northwestern Uganda, southern South Sudan, the eastern parts of Central African Republic, and northeastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Poachers reduced their population from 500 to 15 in the 1970s and 80s. From the early 1990s through mid-2003, the population recovered to more than 32 animals. Since mid-2003, poaching has intensified and further reduced the wild population. Since March 19, 2018, when Sudan, the last male northern white rhino, passed away, only Najin and Fatu are left, which questions how we got here on the brink of extinction of them and, frankly, a number of other animals. Najin, a female, was born in captivity in 1989. She is the mother of Fatu. Her mother was Nasima and the father was Sudan, the last male northern white rhino who passed away in March 2018. The caretakers are passionate and incredible humans and take beautiful care of the rhinos. I spent the morning with Zach Matai, the lead caretaker. Rhinos have fairly weak eyes, but their nose and ears are powerful, and the girls 
can identify Zach by scent and sound. Zach's knowledge, understanding of the girls, and true compassion is recognized to the superb care they get around the clock. Rhino experts are now exploring the possibility of artificial reproduction technologies using in vitro fertilization and southern white rhino surrogates as a way to preserve and maintain the northern white rhino genes into the future. Could this subspecies be brought back from extinction? The future is uncertain and it is a race against time. Today, the northern white rhinos seem perfectly at home in Opechita. They live peacefully in the wild with a daily routine full of little rituals and pleasures. When I left Najin and Fatu, I couldn't help but cry a little, knowing it might have been the last time I see a northern white rhino in the world. This was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Hey everyone, uh, greetings from Old Pejeda Conservancy here. We started at 6 o'clock this morning and had an incredible morning. One of my other highlights at Old Pejeda was to meet Baraka, the 27-year-old blind black rhino. Baraka means blessings. He lost sight in both eyes. He was in the wild and in a fight with another male rhino and lost one eye, and then lost the second from a cataract. After losing sight, he couldn't stay in the wild as a rhino and moved into a comfortable large wild space at Olpegido where he is taken care of 24-7 by fantastic caretakers and rangers. Olpegido is home to the world's largest black rhino sanctuary with a population of over 140 black rhinos from just 40 back in the 90s. This is remarkable considering the black rhino population declined by a staggering 97% from 1960 to 1990s. Opechita is also the only place in the world where you can see the big five on a safari at the equator. This is Anthony. He was my guide, driver, and friend now and took me to some of the coolest off the beaten path areas of the Conservancy. Let's go! 
Hey everyone, we are out in the wild. We just spotted some elephants. Oh, we just spotted some elephants and zebras. Wow. All right, there's a lot of zebras out here. Let's check it out.